Hi everybody, my name is Stefano from Edmark and in today's session I will be together with uh, Daniele for showing you how to do three typical things you might have to deal with when working with a real or two-stage diesel burner. So today we will see how to replace nozzles, how to change the electrode and how to change the photocell. For this purpose we have prepared as the front part of an FSN 15 zone dryer. We have prepared a um, real or diesel burner mounted on this support just for ease of camera for, to, for showing closer how to do such operation. And we have some uh, very simple tools, just uh, uh, screwdrivers and wrenches for uh, doing this operation. We recommend uh, to read uh, through the user maintenance manual of uh, the uh, burner manufacturers before proceeding so that you get a full and overall understanding of the components we will uh, be working on today. For working on the nozzles and on the electrodes we need to pull out the burner because they are placed uh, in front uh, uh, in, in the front part which is now inside the combustion chamber of the dryer. So we start by removing the protection cover of the burner, then we will uh, need to uh, release a, a couple of uh, bolts uh, on the sides on the head of the burner and then we will uh, pull it out. We will see to do how this operation also on the demonstration burner that we have prepared uh, on this support. Now that the burner has been pulled out, we can uh, get access uh, to the to the nozzle, both the nozzles and the electrodes. It is very important uh, before starting any operation that uh, there is no electrical power and that the, the burner has been cooled uh, down. Then there is no uh, warm part uh, that you can touch with with your hands uh, while uh, doing this uh, small operation, which are very simple but needs to be carried out in a correct way. Okay, so now we will be doing the same operation on this demonstration button. We start by removing the protection cap, then unfastening the, uh, the bolts on the side of the head of the burner. Keep an eye on this uh, safety hook set, which needs to be pulled uh, inwards uh, for pulling out uh, the, the burner totally. And now that the burner has been pulled uh, out, uh, we can uh, start working on both of the nozzles and the electrodes. Now that the burner has been pulled out, we are now ready for changing the nozzles. We start from the second stage nozzles and then we will proceed with the first stage. The nozzle is unfastening by using a wrench number 16 and then it is disconnected by hand. Be careful when disconnecting it that some uh, diesel uh, inside the filter, some small parts of diesel can uh, drops out of the filter. When disconnecting the first stage nozzle it is important to be careful not to touch the electrodes. So now that both nozzles have, have been removed we start uh, mounting uh, the new nozzles. Typically when the size of the nozzles uh, is different uh, we recommend uh, to mount the slightly larger nozzle on the first uh, stage uh, and the uh, smaller one on the second stage. We start putting them in position by hands uh, and uh, tighten them firmly by using uh, the, the wrench number 16. Do not use too much force, otherwise you might risk uh, to damage the thread of the, uh, of the connection.
Okay, so after replacing the nozzle, it is good practice to have a look at on the front part of the first uh, stage nozzle. You have to check that the, the distance between, uh, there's uh, still uh, a little gap between the electrodes. We recommend uh, three to four millimeter gaps between the electrodes. And on the side that there's uh, between four and five millimeter gap between the electrodes and the, and the first stage nozzles. Once this has been checked, uh, now the, uh, the burner can actually be closed uh, and we can start with our dry, drying operations. Okay, so now we are ready to see how to replace uh, the electrodes. Danele is showing how to put some sign on the electrodes be before disconnecting them so that you can recover the position when uh, uh, reconnecting them. He has disconnected the cable from the electrodes that needs to be replaced and he is starting unscrewing for removing it. It is important always to use original spare parts from a real manufacturer when replacing the electrodes. He is putting the new one in position and connect and he will afterwards connect the cable. When putting the electrode in position, it is important to check that there's still always a, a three to four millimeter clearance between the tips of the electrodes and uh, that there's a four to five millimeters uh, sides clearance between the nozzle, the first stage nozzle and the electrodes. So after this has been checked uh, and the cable connected, we are now ready to close the button and uh, to start with our operation. We're now ready to see how to change the photocell of the burner. The photocell is connected inside here and for replacing it we need to pull it out, disconnect it from the control unit, take a new one, connect it to the control unit and pull it back. It is a very simple operation but it needs to be done in a correct way. Now Daniele will be connecting the photocell to the control unit, uh, which is uh, wire, black wire to pin number 9 and uh, the blue one to pin number 15. Once the photocell has been uh, uh, put back, uh, put firmly back, uh, the control unit has been closed, we can uh, uh, take the protection cover of the burner and mount it back on the burner. has been changed, protection cover put back and we are ready to go. We are done now with the two day session, we hope it has been of help for you. We thank you very much for watching and we invite you to follow uh, our channels, our Facebook and YouTube channel. So thank you very much for today, see you soon, bye bye. bye.